This is how to attach the ribs to the wing spars for the Excalibur. First thing you do is line up the rib with the center of the line. Then you're going to mark one of the holes. And then you're going to put an X on the gusset so you can see which side is going to be up when you put it back on. So now go ahead and drill that hole. Drilling on a round surface can be tricky. You can actually steer the drill bit by moving in, you know, extreme angles to get the hole where you want it. Now go ahead and put that rivet in. Okay, now line it up again. Get it good and straight in line with the center line of the spar and drill the other hole. Now you want to be sure that the rib is pressed in tight against the spar so that the notch in each end of the rib fits nicely on the spar. Like that. Now drill one hole only in that rear part of the rib. And I will explain why it's only one hole after we do the other end of the rib. Okay, now we're going to leave that hole empty. Now let's go to the front of the wing and attach the ribs to the front spar. Same procedure. Line up the gusset nicely. Mark one hole. Put an X there. So you can change the direction by moving the drill around quite a bit to be sure you get exactly where you want. Scrape off that uh, excess material with the gusset. You can't do that all the time, but on the first hole at least you can do it. Now I'm using a pneumatic rivet gun, but you can use a hand one, a manual for, you know, $10. Pull that rib against the spar again. Be sure the notch is up there good and tight against the spar. Like that. And put your next hole in there. On that second hole that we're drilling right now, you can either draw the little circle or not. It's not necessary on that hole, but on the first hole it was. Okay, now before you start drilling holes in that, you want to be sure that it's square. So you get out your 45 degree angle square and measure it up against the highest part of the rib, which you can't do on the trailing edge of the rib because it's you know, straight and low. So you do it on the front only, get it nice and square. And then be sure the notch is tight against the spar and go ahead and drill one hole. Okay, now you have to measure again. This is your final adjustment. After this, you can't change the angle of the rib anymore, so be sure it's like this, tight against the spar. Now, when you drill this hole here, that's it. That's the final uh, opportunity to change the angle of the rib. So now it's locked in forever. So now you go to the rear of the rib and you're going to drill that last hole because now the rib has been adjusted 
to exactly where it should be. So now you can put this final rivet in and uh, it's not going to ever move.